Yo, what up, folks? Trev TCG here with the last part of my top four explore deck kind of playthroughs from Worlds. Uh, we went through Castle Wrapped Team of Transmogrify, did get a trophy with that. Uh, also, Nathan Stoyer, who won the World Championships, um, his Ragdoll Sacrifice list, we went six and three with. And last up, uh, Ellie Cassis and Jakob Toth both teamed together for the event. And so we're going to take their Mono Blue Spirits list through a event. So they team together for Worlds, we're going to take the list through an event. Uh, have a look here. So Mono Blue Spirits kind of taking advantage of early evasive creatures with uh, Curious Obsession and then the new addition to Combat Research with some cheap counter spells, which get cheaper or better for having Spirits slash Flies with Lofty Dial and Geist Light Snare. Geist Light Snare, importantly, going down to one mana if you have a Spirit and the Aura in play. Uh, Enjambment in play, but yeah. That, 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 that's what it'll be. Yeah. So, as a cheap creatures, four Ascendant Spirit, four Mausoleum Wanderer, four Spectral Sailor, uh, the four Curious Obsession with the one Combat Research giving you like the extra curiosity effect, and then some Spell Pierces for early protection. You have the Counter Spells with Lofty Denial and Geist Light Snare. Um, again, just very, very efficient. Lofty Denial goes to Counter they pay four if you have a Flyer, and Geist Light Snare gets Mana Reduction if you control an enchantment, and Mana Reduction if you control a Spirit. Then you have kind of like the rest of the Spirits Matter cards and Lords with four Rattle Chains, single Shackle Geist, uh, a Spectral Adversary, which is a bit of a flex utility card. You can um, phase some stuff out for that. Kind of just like turn it off. Like you either push for win, push for game, kind of like get out of a sticky situation or whatever. And then obviously Supreme Phantom, um, which is a super efficient Lord, two mana. Uh, and then lastly, a Brazen Borrower for some interaction um, and a single copy of Cemetery Illuminator. A pretty sweet one. Um, a fairly recent addition, I guess. Uh, but ETB or attack exile card from a graveyard, and then you can look at the top card of your library anytime. If, um, well, in, in our case, if the exile card is a spirit, uh, then you can cast spirits on the top of your library. Once each time you can cast a spell from the top of your library, which has a card type with a card exiled with some treatment. Card type, so like creature. Anyway, and this is the same thing as the sorcery, etc., etc. All right, cool. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, mana base, two copies of Faith of Saving, and 19 Circle of Islands, which means they're really focused in on having enough blue sources. You've got a couple of little blue spells, but it's often the deck kind of th thrives off being able to double spell a bunch, because um, you're getting a bunch of extra cards off the Curious Obsession of the Combat Research, and then two Faith of Saving just to give you a man land to attack with and get versus sweep, etc. Also, is a spirit. Right. On the sideboard, there's four cards missing here, but a Cobbled Lancer. Along with four, three Ledger Shredders. Maybe they were expecting some aggro. Sorry, four Ledger Shredders. It's put up here. A couple of more Brazen Borrowers. Again, some interaction with online permanence. Witness Protection, which is a really, really nice tool for Mono Blue Decks to be able to turn off creature abilities. And all creatures. And then you have Aether Gust versus Mono Green. A couple of copies of Slip Out of the Bat to protect your creatures. Um, and then the, the four cards that are missing are Ley Nine of Combustion. Let me, let me just... Let me pull this up in here. Please, arena client. Don't crash. One time, don't crash. One time, okay. Uh, I've not crafted these because I don't own them. We are, we are actually playing best of one here. But Leon of Combustion. Whenever you or at least one permanent you control becomes a target spell or ability for controls, it does two damage to, each, to that player. And the list is playing four copies of these, but uh, yeah. I don't own them, and we're playing in a best of one event, so. Hey. There we are. Also, don't want to just dump a bunch of wild cards in when Brothers Wars about to release. Which is pretty hype, actually. It comes out in nine days. Yeah, we're going to run into a horror event. I'm doing best of one. If you're interested in seeing more best of three stuff, let me know. Obviously, the videos are longer. Not everybody wants to watch like three hours of, uh, of gameplay. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to take spirits into. Battle. Nice. If you're interested in Explorer stuff, um, it's the majority of what I do here uh, on, on Trev DCG. But I do dabble in other formats as, to, as well, whether it be like standard, historic, um, limited. Obviously, I'll be doing some drafts and sealed and stuff with Brothers War coming out as well. Um, and occasionally, you'll see like a, a IRL that deck on tournament report if I get the chance to travel somewhere. Do something. Yeah. Please like and subscribe, etc., uh, etc. Et um, 
All right, if fairly solid here, like I have the opportunity to leave this virtual sailor. I'm actually curious thinking about going forwards because we've got actually for the Ragnar Trium. Hmm. Oh, this basically means I want to clock them as fast as possible. Um. Actually, the other thing is we don't have another like a piece of interaction here. I'd rather have this Ascendant Spirit in play early. Also, for the sweepers and things, you want to save the Spectral Sailor because you get to draw cards off of it later. Once you use a bunch of resources, as it is, to die here. That is okay. Um, I'm just going to pass. Just in turn the Spectral Sailor. The other thing, ooh, Mystic Sanctuary. I've still not seen a Yorian or anything like that. Or a Kariga, which is the other worrying one. Here. Huh. Moderately mystified. Okay. Eight five since end of turn. Like looking at the Hmm. I'm not actually a hundred percent sure what they're on looking at the cards they've played. Uh I don't want to sit here with guy slates now. I'm gonna run the sign and eliminator out and I hope that it lives and then I can start things. But exile the spirit from my graveyard. And there's a slivs that gives us a source of card advantage off the top. Okay. Supreme Verdict. Okay. I think it could just be something like Jessica Control. I'm trying to think what, um. Oh. Actually, pretty awkward. I'm gonna play out the Supreme Verdict and then I'm gonna hold up a Chaos Spell. Sure. Because I feel like they haven't revealed too much. Uh, I'm gonna do that. So like this is the point where we interact. That's fine. Okay, they're gonna get a memory delusion. It looks to be just like Jessica control. Um, which is I guess a rarity. Generally, you see blue, white, Esper be more popular types. We're actually gonna get a um in here, curious obsession, which is pretty nice. We'll, we'll do this before we decide what else we play. The danger is that if the Supreme Zard is the Sweeper of Choice, obviously our counter spells don't matter too much in that regard. Action. Alright, cool. Rattle Chains gives us kind of the game plan we want to be able to do, which is play on their turn. Opt is totally fine, you may have that. So maybe they need to find lands. Okay, go Fortress. I imagine, like, See, I would have thought like, blue-white control maybe playing um, Leyline Binding, but actually showing like this Mystical Sanctuary is actually throwing me. This Sanctuary is throwing me for a bit of a loop, and obviously they did play the Braid earlier. Well, yeah, I'm gonna run out the Rattle Chains. We have the one mana guys that's there around. See, I'm gonna play to just untap with these. Um. At the moment, we're in a decent spot, um, but it's kind of like like this until they have their next like uh, it's a fine here. Fine. Unfortunately, without the rattle chains, none of these have flash. Gonna grab the base card themselves. Sure. So like if they wrath here, those are like basic mountains. I'm lost. A little. This appears to just be Jessica Control. See. What are they up to? Some Funkin. Can't be counted. This is my it's minus three three damage trees on my elemental creature. Or you can minus X. We maybe get a chance for a blowout here. 
down a two minus four. Now we get him. I think we just go for the kill here. Three for five, nine for twelve. But that's nice. <laughs> Counting. I think if you're leaving the Chandra on two, just for what it's worth, you may as well account for the fact that I might be able to flash an Lord. Not like having the Chandra on one instead of two is going to stop me from being able to kill it. Alright, what I so far? We go again, we go again. To be said, the hands where you don't have one drop Curious Possession can get a little clunky. We also like play draw to account for. But yeah, it looked a bit wonky there on our first early turns, but it worked out. The thing that like I'm a, I've played a bunch of spirits, um, both Bant kind of earlier in like kind of pioneers like um, history I guess just be, like just pre -COVID, just before COVID, uh, and then I've played a decent amount of the Mono Blue deck on in Explorer, um, and I was planning on playing it in some RCQs last season uh, in Pioneer, um, but the thing that always kind of stops me is that if you don't have the uh, like the the okay one two three curious like one drop spirit, curious obsession, counter spell. Your deck feels a little underpowered, and you really, really struggle to catch back up. Uh, you get behind very quickly if you're on the draw. But a really nice meta game choice if you're playing against any slow deck. A lead Mousley and Wanderer here. Have rattle chains. Have the adversary. Have counter spells. Like, be bad. They have so immediately. Looks like they do. Let me untap, which I like. Go. Okay. Now they have to think about what they're going on. They're actually going to shoot me. Fine. I think this I say yes to. I want to get another spirit in play. Then start doing that. We're going to rattle chains here. Basically, we're going to and get towards counter spell. Hmm. Not having. Third land is rough. Okay. I'm trying to think clockwise because, like, we wouldn't mind just, you know. I think I say yes. I'd like to actually go Masley and Wanderer plus Spell Pierce, like, if they have any sort of piece here. But hey. Also, the option to. 16 16. If I do this, I can shut that clock down enough to make it worth it. Also, this is a wizard, this is not. This forces them if they've got like a one mana wizard spell to. If, they, if they're playing like Wizards of Lightning to use it. I'm gonna find making this trade because we keep more damage in play. Okay, third land is, is key. Love to see that. Alright. Means we have a couple of counter spells, but also importantly, means we, have, we can like spell piss plus make one of our two drops. Here we go, off to the right. Got you and me. Fine. Uh, I go 3 to 12, it's untapped this, I go to 11. On the flip side, they're going 3 3. If I could spell piss, it'd be different. Ooh. 
cool, cool. Okay. Illuminate is a nice one, but we probably just not have time for it here, any. Uh, T3. We have them dead in T3, effectively. I'm gonna fire at me. Scrying away. Go. Oh, kills back. One, two, three, five. I can't make them one per clock, right? Uh, five, six, seven. I can play the rattle chain. Makes it one turn. Am I dead and cards they have in hand? If they can cast both of them. Uh, they have an interaction piece. Taking one. Oh, down to the wire. I feel like we can present lethal, so we should. I think I'm gonna do this. So they had definitely have something. We have Mausoleum Water as well. Oh, that's like the best possible. Uh, yeah, this is one right now. Bring to me. I don't think what. 3, 3, 4, 5, 5. Play 3. I'm gonna try and find. Spirit. Uh, Mausoleum Wanderer plus Rattle Chains. Doesn't do it, right? I don't have the Rattle Chains. Oh, if they have anything with that. You can get one two points. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, I should just, I should have just done tap. They have to have like thing. We can pay. We can get spell pistols all we want to. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I was just too greedy. I was like, oh, we can get to lethal, so we should try. Oh yeah. No, no, no. Nice, sir. Just been patient. Take the time to kill. Take the time to kill. There's also like a weird line there where I go like Mouse and Liam wonder pre combat. Uh, and the no, because I'm still just dead to the activation at the time of which we could have just counted. Admittedly, this is fine. We have like spirit into counter spell, depends what they make on turn two here. It's overwhelming, which sounds weird. Look at the mouth, like a forest. Oh, okay. Be a little worried about just getting shit down our room here. Letting them go off with werewolf. Probably not. That can't be allowed. 
around walking. This card is nuts, by the way. As it is, let's get some some. Uh, like rattle chains or snare. Uh, maybe we double spell on our turn to flip it back. Actually, that's the way. How do I feel about that? Not great. <laughs> so you have a sir. Uh, you just like die to to to, to wolf or beat. Hmm. If their response is like company go, if they're gonna, if they're, the best thing they can do is probably company next turn. Our actual best bet is to go like Azaleon Wanderer plus Rattle Chain over. Rattle Chain is obviously very telegraphic. Yeah, actually, we need this. Hold this. I don't know about Alright, we flip this back. Unfortunately, they don't have any good blocks on it. This is rough. But now, yeah, they kind of have to respect the map. I wonder if they want to try and do something with them. And this time, we go, we go a bit wider and present a denser threat, I guess. <laughs> Why didn't dense mean different? Dense would be. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Class. Yeah, I'd have to double. Oh, they're frostbite. Hmm. Like the we have uh and a rattle chain. Eight four. I guess I attack that bar instead. Six four. Uh seeing this bat to interrupt the block is good in theory. This flips if we don't fuck. Hmm. Oh. I don't get blocks on it. Better or what? I think I do just need to stop it flip. I kinda love that this like 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 effectively like wolf tribal deck again. It's evil the guys that's not here, but I think stopping this for blocking is good. Right, stopping this for attacking is good. We also kinda <laughs> have like they have to commit that. Not the end of the world. This spell can't be counted. Oh yeah, 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 this is the thing that lets you cheat the big werewolf. We have we have blocks available, and then if nothing else happens, we can spend them. Oh, this is so. I think they've they just gotten too much play. I said that doesn't do very well at catching up from behind. Is it summoning sick? Run out of it. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, what we'll do. This session's good. Next up, this comes a four. Thirteen. Mm. They've not had any copies of the haste guy yet. Haste wolf. The creature's haste. The real combo is playing putting this to play with like being able to give it haste and that to it. Um, and then untap it. When I go off. But uh, whatever. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of just going. I think I'll go home. Yeah. 
do they? We have a guy slits there. We got them dead in two turns. We're on 13. They could power up. It really depends if they've got something to play off of this. Because obviously we can't counter. Oh. Okay. The one I was really worried about is that it's like the 6 one off that makes a bunch of like two. That was some castle of the library. That one's not too worrying. Five here. Oh, okay. I forgot this is Daybound. We look each other among them, put it into your hand, rest of the box. Yeah, bro. We. Last level. Put two counters on it in games whenever this creature just point out, just like draw. Doesn't that gives us trample? Wait, X. Still, still, still reasonable. Double guys that says the thing is that these don't do anything with it. Oh, it loses the ability. Huge. I don't want to untap it then. I guess I'm just gonna say play the one. Then so just because I don't want to have to miss sequence either the way around, I'd rather have the Mausoleum Wonder available to block the Tutu. All in, we can try and counter. That goes on. That one we can try. We should do. Well, they still have to cast that as well. Double check again. And we got him. Oh, that was a lot of work. Send the spirit really uh, doing the heavy lifting there. Okay, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Two and one at. Keep it together, we keep it together. I was like, there are quite a lot of spirits players at Worlds. Um more of the meta game than I'd really expected. Actually some of the numbers were surprising. I'm not that surprised that people didn't play um black red mid range, just because like the nature of the deck is that you're not really getting many edges from it anywhere. Whereas you could maybe it's just very much like it's it's a very much known quantity that you don't really have great ways to gain percentage points against other matchups that you're not already good at. And, whereas like Abs and Grease Fang, like it's very very much known, but it's also just like I don't know. You have this turn three combo that you have access to, but also have a really good mid range plan. And then you saw the way that um, a lot of the players angled their sideboards as well to be able to board more into that mid range style, either with like multiple Sky Sovereigns from some players we saw or from. Uh, we saw wedding announcement as well um, from a different team. I think it was actually really, 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 really nice uh, addition. Like playing four of them in the sideboard. Um, wrong. Probably goes first, but we have we have our uh, two piece Exodia. Maybe mulliganing here. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's going going on. There you go. Hey, looks Anivia. The <laughs> mirror match. Um, alright. I will say, we're, we're unfavored. The mirror, but we're on the draw. Oh no. No, not like that. I should maybe respond to that. 
Um, but I don't think. To be fair, if they like snare our one drop, then kind of free to bounce the wanderer. Our plan for later. Okay, they don't have a turn to counter spell. Lofty denial, no, they're in trouble. Ooh, okay. Let's see. We have some solid cards. Sure. But, uh, third land, okay. Another, that was another angle of attack. Moment of actual trees. Rattle chains. I am right. Lost is another rattle chains. You have a mausoleum wonder, is I gonna let. Exactly not. Okay. Neither of us really have drawn any of the one mana interaction, which is, I guess, good for both of us. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. So this. Oh, okay. They missed their full land. Now we now we can double spell a bit. So I'm not gonna make. Um. I don't really want to make this second curious obsession yet because I want to cast two team out. One way or the other. They're holding us up here. Hmm. What they have exactly. Everyone's nervous. Tension is palpable. Oh, yeah, word. Palpable. Okay. I'm just gonna end turn. See what they do here. The spectral sailor. I kind of want to. Uh, this doesn't really matter. I would like to praise it. I would like to pay theft the mausoleum. That's like my goal for this turn. So I can. They're not playing a land. I don't really want to give them access to this one. I'm going to try this. We don't have a way to really interact with it. got like a counter spell to protect it. We can pay for spell pierce. Um, if they have like rattle chains, it's like. Lofty denial. Fine. We're forcing them to commit more of their money. I don't look at how much I value Spectral Adversary versus Rattle Chains. I think actually, maybe want to. They're both two ones, right? And Rattle Chains has more value for four two mana. I block them out one. It's dangerous. Oh, we get it. Okay. In that case, all up. We're gonna see you up a second. Okay. Um. We played fine. The draw was awkward. On the draw, we'll take some. Time. Allow it. Magic. Okay, three and one. Going into five. Yeah, we do. Yeah, what else? So yeah, Ab Abzan was the largest portion, at like twenty five percent, I think, and then one of Rat Dust Sacrifice or Spirits. Uh, there was another popular deck as well. I, there were a couple of different, um, transmogrify kind of. There's like a few different transmogrify decks. Um, creativity as well, which are kind of similar, but different. Similar in what they're trying to do, different in how they do it. We're on the plane. We have a send in spirit curious session. A spell piece. Things are looking pretty good. 
depends what they do with turn two. Well, on their turn one, I guess. Not see oh no, they just break. Planes go. The angels could be blue, white, view, but it's a tap land. Also be a really slow human straw. Oh. Not what I planned. Self pierce. A little less valuable than Geist. I guess I'll just but carry on with this. We've got a couple of different flash creatures to kind of develop our board a bit. There we go. I don't want Part of the mono blue deck is like your opponent doesn't know what they need to play. Okay. So Esper Control minute for that's I guess what it looks like. Uh I'm not worried about anything else, I'm just gonna make the spectral adversary. The spectral sale is actually a good one to save. Again, like if you get wrath and stuff it can help you draw out of it if you a bunch of resources like and yeah, just like in that's to yeah, spell this is okay on 10 I mean if a few copies of each of these cards I think we're fine I'm gonna while gonna while I haven't done two times that's the full resolves Let's see, let's see. What do you want to take? <laughs> Does look funny. And I'm gonna take the Reaper, which is interesting. Maybe they have Supreme Vitness as the path then. Um We're not ch oh actually, are we changing the clock? Uh three, four, five, six. I think we just have the drone snare is nice. Still there. Still leaving them on four. Got our island. They kind of need a verdict. Well, you think they were like cattle last time if they had it, actually. Maybe they thought suited. I guess trying clear the way? I don't know. Sure. Uh oh. That would do it. Passable. All right. Yeah, I think they're pretty quick. That's kind of what the mono blue British deck is meant to punish. Kind of the slower mid range decks. Thing, or, or like combo things like Team Trailing Flow where you're like, okay, Chaos Spells, we, we, where you can just leverage, like, okay, I've got creatures in play, I'm going to try and counter your threats. Um, this is control, like, you're at reasonable points. For that, it's kind of the breaker in that matchup, where you're going to lose some creatures and just have to find a way to catch back up, which Mono Blue deck isn't very good at doing. Like, if they go Verdict and then you make, like, a one-power creature and then they go, okay, untap to Fairy, and you're like, okay, well, this isn't great. We had a bunch of damage on the board already. Hit them a bunch beforehand. But yeah. On the play again, have Ascendant Spirit and Counter Spells. A little slow. Not slow, but we don't have our like. Um, we don't have extra creatures, or, uh, trust that's okay. Well, I've been trumped, they have full, they have, they have, they have fancy. Your counter spells. 
counter spells on the play. Uh, actually, oh, they can. Uh, that's fine. They want to sack off the Maslin. That's actually. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. Those cuts are attacking. Well, but. Like, our plan here is to just evolve this. If they go, like, Obsession on the Supreme Phantom... Oh, okay. Now I can't spell it. Oh, so awkward. Awkward. Yeah, I think the second Malzium one race. Uh, it's actually always worth doing this the first time. Right? We don't really have a good answer. We need to kind of try and interact with them somehow. So they got Brazen Bora. This isn't... Oh, no, no. Would have been pretty. Uh, I will. I will attack. We don't have a lot going for us. I'm kind of up for that. We have a game plan. Hmm. Getting out race with you. Yeah, we've just not really drawn any either any kind of like any uh, additional synergistic creatures or any of our other pals. I guess worst case scenario they go Lord Lord here we die. Jackal Geist is also pretty Because Mazley and Morton are also kinda of stopped us being able to interact with Geist there. Take another line. I guess this time we have to count as something we would be able to do. As is, like, this is gonna get attacked. I don't know. Aww. In a bit of a rough spot. Okay. Not awful. Although they have some kind of counter spell. I re uh, it's just so hard to get anything out. Even the extra bodies, you get like shackle ice and stuff. I think like in spite of this not being an error, it. They can sack Mausoleum Wanderer to make us like pay. Such a such a tough game to win from. This rubble hand. I think even with like this evolve. The Shackle Geist is kind of the ultimate punish. But here like we maybe get to block something. Hmm. Don't get that. Three one. Uh, four. Eight. Now let's make this as well. Gets twelve. I don't think we have a way from here. Pass you off. Yeah, and like, I think probably evolving this was a bit of a punt. Or at least doing it main phase and like going like, oh, I'm gonna go to the right. Kinda got punished as much as can be. He did have the extra. Let's see. I think you just tap our creatures down and attack, you know? There, there are like 50 million different ways I can choose. We're just gonna, we're just gonna pick the cards up. Just pick the cards up. Make it easier for both of us. Um, Steve, they don't know what we have. 
Okay, we're four and two. Need to rattle off a swift three and zero here to close out strong. That'd be cool. Yeah, I could have played that a bit better. I, th I don't know. Hmm. I think trying to sit there and block is pretty tough. But I think we could have maybe played the draw a little bit better, but our draw was pretty. Hmm. I think we have to keep, but maybe I need to mulligan more. Let me know what you think about that. I love this line. Arms? No, no, no. Looks like a DMV one. It reminds you of something. I just say that was actually the best draw we could have had. <laughs> um. Oh my. Whenever you cast a boost. I think we'll be okay, but um, that's from a from a me thinking about self mill perspective rather than a that's me thinking about them milling me perspective rather than a spell from perspective. If they're trying to mill themselves to do like Mark and Nark Amoeba, um, crippling chill things, I have no idea how this goes. This one's fairly. They're trying to mill us. Total value, 20 value, or that's like 40. But that would be tough. Um, I don't want to attack, so I actually don't know if I want to play a Spectre Fate. Phantom here. I think I need to hold up counter spells. I think we, we can kind of sit here and go like, okay, counter spell, counter spell, counter spell. Fine. And if we start being like, alright, we're going to commit to... Fortunately, this doesn't block our creature. And then next turn, we can go Supreme Phantom plus Lock of So. Still, we're still losing cards. <laughs> this is why we're not allowed to play with XG. Um, yet. That's just actually true, yeah? That one's fine. We hold up Lofty Denial and go in. We should do. We're at 34 cards in the library. Still watch out for like the. So this is like 8, or like half, or like 20. Down 27 cards. How many activations did Nine. Now they're out of cards, the top deck. Okay. Down to 25. If they hit land, land is three. Uh, and we're also out of counter spell. So we need to be like. Alright, we're gonna exile. Oh, uh, okay. Tough. We actually wanna exile creatures, right? Get yeah, their out. I was gonna add to the sorcery if the top card was a. Um... Is this real to both players? No, it's like a tip. Like... That's lethal now. I think that's. Just... There are a few more triggers here, but we're gonna have. That's like the library. We can cast this to those two more. But. Dang. Okay. The rare occurrence getting to see the mill back. Sweet. Yeah, not, not a great matchup for us. Story weave. Very cool. Alright, we need two more. 
So yeah, so so far we had a seven two with Tima, Transmogrify, and a six three with Rakdos Sacrifice. Let's see what we got here. Do 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 do. Trying for the trying for the miracle run. Rattle three off the back to uh, finish strong. We'll see. It's taking a, fall, a while to find an opponent. To be fair. Hold shift and pressing enter or turn on a map as it's cash price to draft a turn. Ah. Well. More people need to do that, myself included, to be fair. Better for everything. Okay, we're on the play, we've got Mausoleum Wanderer of Spain. Phantom. Looking solid. Okay, so go one into one two into this. That kind of depends. And what we draw. I think I got a, a bunch of things that dynamic and can. Ooh, Absin. Freeze fan. Uh... Oh. Maybe we should have just sat to. We need to. Finding ways to actually use Freeze fan? Well. I mean, interact with Grease Fangs that aren't just like hard count as well. It's like, hey, this is fine. This turn, they're not doing anything too super threatening. I think we're just gonna. Oh. I'd rather get the Phantom in play now. Quick Lofty Denial. Also, this way we're not showing that we have the guys. This is our like piece of interaction for that Grease Fang on, the, on turn three. Yeah, they've not found any parts for it. There you go, behind in the graveyard. Yeah, not having um third land is punishing. I'd like to be able to go like wanderer plus attack here. Okay, now I just need to find a grease fang. That helps them do that. Fortunately, we have like a thrash threat we can play. They're not doing anything to burn. Chariot. Oh, they don't have another land. That that also. Bit of a dub. Wish we had one. Okay, we have them dead next time. Six seven. Oh. Okay. One more. One more. Come on. One more time. Okay. Once again, for the third time in this three part series, we're playing Sudden Death Elimination. Everything on the line. Trophy or fail at the final hurdle. Dr. Panda Bear MD. The one standing in our way. We're on the play. We have a curious obsession, but no one drop. Ooh. That's sweet. I like that. I don't really bother as much as cosmetics. Like, I think I add these on because I kind of put them on automatically. Um, last time I, I, I got lots of pair of sleeves. I'm really bad at remembering to like change my portrait. That sleeves when I put that my like import deck to Again, we're losing the full art land battle. Okay, they have combat research. Oh, it's ledger gets put on the bottom ward. The obsession. They kind of got it slightly snow. I think we just That. 
get off to the races drawing cards. We're kind of like half representing something here, but it's just not worth it. We should. Passing. Running it down mid. Like Faker. Um. The shackle guys should cap down the spectral server, cut them off from cards. Well, I guess we don't need to cap down the spectral server, but um, we are, we are winning the board right now. Imagine play. Oh. Oh, this was actually the dumbest thing. Okay. We got outplayed hard. We can just block that. Um, okay. That's fine. We come back the other way. Not really block. Oh, the shackle guy gets a draw. We have lost his oil. I'm gonna make the mouse lean wanderer this time. Very important. He, one might say. This has to attack. In locked and then spectral sailor. I say it has to attack. If it doesn't attack, it gets um. The the curious is actually. If you don't attack. Did I get blown out here. I should have conceded. All right. Well, I punted by not playing this mouse game wonder earlier, but we get rewarded. Um, with a seven-two run. Play point in the bank. Woohoo. Alright. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, um, maybe subscribe to the channel, drop a like. I'd really appreciate it. Trying to grow and stuff. Yada yada yada. Uh Modern Blue Spirits, very legit. Thank you, Ilikasis and Jakob Toff. Um, congratulations to everybody at Worlds and especially uh Nathan Stoyer. Um and yeah, Brothers War out in nine days from now uh and so when the full score comes out i'll do like a bit of an explorer set review kind of go through all the cards i think could be relevant um and obviously we'll be doing a bunch of stuff when the set actually releases so hey look forward to that and uh catch you later thank you very much for watching peace